what is up YouTube pipe community Gateway City Pipers coming to you on a chilly and windy afternoon here on the back deck Chris here Peter here and uh, smoking my 320 with some Union Terminal caps, Union Terminal smoking the hacker with some Union what's that, Terminal. What's the finish? What's that? What do you call that finish? <clears throat> you guys, if you haven't heard yet, this is what you call um, a signature tree bark rustication. <laughs> All right, today we have a uh, review, and it is of what we are smoking. Um, Union Terminal from uh, Strauss and um, this blend was created for CAPS Cincinnati Area Pipe Society and we've been heartily enjoying this blend over the past uh, month or so yeah and just to get started it is an English blend um, <laughs> <clears throat> and Heavy amount of lot of key. It has a little bit of everything in it, I think. Um, or I'm making the assumption of. <clears throat> yeah, we can't really find what the makeup of it is. <clears throat> I don't think there was any. There are many Strauss blends on tobacco reviews, but this was not one of them, right? Yeah, but I mean, I definitely think that obviously. Um, I would say that there's has to be some sort of Oriental in there. Yeah, um, and obviously yeah. the whole lot of Kia and uh, Virginia, probably maybe a touch of Burley. I don't know. Um, that's what I'm getting out of it. But with that being said, <clears throat> um, this is a very very good blend. It is very dynamic, and I'd say that throughout the bowl it presents itself in a variety of different ways. Um, for an English blend. Yeah, would, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I would say so. Um, but I would say that even though it is dynamic, like <clears throat> at no point do you lose any of the elements. You know, it's you're always getting a little bit of something. It just may be, you know, as you go down the bowl, it switches as to what's dominating the flavor at any one time uh, which which makes for a really good smoke obviously we I sort of broke it down as in sorry the sun is like directly in my face but um, we sort of broke it down as at the first half of the bowl you get not as much pronounced Latakia it's more of um, a sweetness so that's highlighted but the Latakia sits in the background and uh, then towards the middle of the bowl the Latakia becomes more present and you get sort of uh more of that um, classic English warmth that comes yeah. from that Latakia. And then as you get towards the bottom of the bowl for us, what we've been noticing is that it sort of takes a middle sweep between the a middle seat between those two. So you have um, a nice sweetness, but you also have um, some Latakia just right there with it. So that is really, I, I really love that. Just the yeah. fact that like Chris said, I'm never losing anything in this blend, but it's sort of just dancing with the other components of what's going on. And the retro hail in this is also very unique. Hey, Chris, if you want to speak to that. Yeah, um, kind of like what Peter was saying, in the front end of the bowl, or the top portion of the bowl, um, <clears throat> you get this kind of sweet, lighter tone on the retro hail um almost <clears throat> not i wouldn't say like a not necessarily like a liquor or spirit note but there's certainly you know something not something in there but just the way that it's blended <clears throat> sort of lends itself to that kind of flavor profile when you know you're on the retro hail um and as peter was saying it's more pronounced that sweetness is more pronounced on the front 
early in the bowl and then kind of as you go down it kind of gets progressively more full and rich as you go down um, which is really cool I mean I don't know you're just kind of taking steps down um, into the where towards the very bottom you're getting this kind of full smoky heavy English yeah. richness and I would say that I think that really comes from um, quality components and also great blending and I mean those things are sort of a given and a good <clears throat> blend but I think that you really see just quality blending in this um, so props to the guys at Strauss for making an awesome blend if we had to put this on a review system um, I would give this I put it right at the top uh, gotta have it mm -hmm. I smoke this and I am running out to get some more and I'll be stocking up you know <laughs> at least eight ounces probably a pound you know like, it's that good <clears throat> yeah I um, yeah I don't smoke that much so like four ounces is like a regular smokers eight ounces basically like just with the infrequency with which I smoke um, <clears throat> I ordered four ounces, uh, Travis STL got in at the last minute on the Strauss Sleepy Hollow, and I said, order me four ounces of the UT so that I can have it in my cellar. I did get a sample from Male Nurse, we got a sample from Male Nurse in our Yabo, and uh, I'm very appreciative of that, so, um, shouts out to Strauss and just another quality blend um, you know obviously Sleepy Hollow had its moment in the sun and it will next year and probably for many years to follow um, but you can get Union Terminal year round um, yeah. if I'm not mistaken so you will not be without it at any point so if you get a chance to try some or you're ordering from Strauss some other stuff and you want to throw some of this on, I would highly recommend that you do so. If Absolutely. you're an English fan, obviously. Yeah. And Strauss is uh, great guys, easy to work with um, on the phone and everything. And in the midst of all the Sleepy Hollow craziness, just uh, props to them for just being very efficient and uh, down to earth and just, um, you know, doing business well. And that's all you can ask for it. You know, you can have a great brick and mortar, and you can have all the best blends out there, and, um, you know, all of the rare stuff, whatever, but if you don't have good, genuine people working your store, then, yeah, there's an umbrella. We got, like, uh, 30 mile an hour yeah. wind guts, so <laughs> please excuse if you got blasted with some wind fuzziness, uh, and don't mind the umbrella. Yeah. But moral of the story is, um, go give them a call. Uh, let's put their number in the cellar. And um, this is the Gateway City Pipers. And remember, <clears throat> smoke them cool, guys. And let the embers glow. <laughs>